In the end, I think this one is more valuable here. But uh, yeah, it really doesn't harm. Wait, gotta stop this guy. Oh no, no. Oh shit, that was a waste. And if I kill it in the very last second with this click, I get all of these, while these won't go to his side, because they, uh, yeah, just go over slowly. That means all of these creeps that I just killed now and got a ton of mana from it, Do you want your account to look like this? Then stop buying things in the app and use the Roche Royale Market instead. Here you will get all the usual offers, but the prices are either cheaper or you will just get more for your money. Simply choose the product you want, enter your account ID as well as the code GodlikeMike and the reward of your choice will be directly sent to your account. Those who enter their name and Roche Royale ID in the message box will automatically be part of my monthly giveaway and have the chance to win up to an additional $100. All the giveaway winners will be mentioned in a public community post on my YouTube channel and the prize will be directly sent to their accounts. Feel free to check out the video description for more info as well as the link to the Rosh Hashanah market. Thanks a lot for your support and may RNG give you the legendaries that you wish for. Yo, alright. Crystalmans are very very nice. The way how to play this for the newer players is you want to have guys on the corners there is idiots that just put four of those next to each other or just randomly get their uh their strong dudes somewhere but they need to be on the corner the reason is they are shiny right here and they are only shiny whenever they are up, uh, upgraded uh, activated sorry if they are not shiny they do not do the special ability which they will do whenever they are shiny so wait I can show you an example maybe um, let's just do this now this is a guy a special guy but he's not shiny this one is shiny this one is not shiny the reason is he doesn't fulfill the criteria of having two neighbors right here so if I give him two neighbors that means uh, I'll just Put one of those away then he has two neighbors now he's suddenly shiny so make sure this is always a shiny dude um there we go you gotta be careful though uh, while i explain i lose a lot of focus There we go. Oh, sh don't turn me. Ui, 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 that was close. Yeah, you see this guy doesn't know what he's doing. He just put this guy like, yeah, okay, I get it. It's on a special tile, but it's not shiny. So you want it shiny, you know what I'm saying? There we go. Uh, I do have to hurry up a little bit though. Uh, uh. Oh shit, what am I doing? Jesus Christ, I just complain about the other guy and then I do the, the same shit. What an idiot. Yeah, well. Now it's shiny. Now he actually does damage. But yeah, it doesn't really help him. I also save the lightning thing because I do more damage on the units uh, whenever they get hit by the lightning. So you can time this on a boss that you're afraid of and uh, yeah, you do way more damage. 
onto these bosses. Yeah, and that's a GG. I really should. Uh, I get asked that many times, and I think I should really do this one time. Um, just buy a ton of tickets on this event and show you how to play the different mirror match mirror matches matchups because uh, knowledge is absolute key here if you know more than your opponent and you play accordingly you basically win every game because it's exactly the same uh, um, thing now even the items are exactly the same so you 100% have the exact same chances to win the game uh, unless you get very unlucky in the game, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's an RNG based game, but you can hire your chances so hard whenever you know more than a, your opponent and how to do more damage. And yeah, do a YouTube video for last month. Yeah, true. Um, one of my mods deleted the, the tasks that I still had to do. So yeah, that kind of sucks, but I can't remember what it was, Remy, you need to remind me, uh, please, on Discord, so I don't lose it again. Alright, let's see, what do we got here? We got the Golem version, which is really, really cool. And usually, whenever you play something like this, always, and you have Harlequin, always make sure you check out what is the best to actually copy, where, where do I get the most value from. Um, here, you get a lot of value out of these guys, and it's also very good to get copy these guys, because you get an extra stack. In the end, I think this one is more valuable here, but uh, yeah, it really doesn't harm. You also get, uh, you could copy Dryad and get uh, some extra fairies, but uh, it's not really worth it. So, I would just, um, yeah, copy those guys, or copy those guys, preferably those guys. Mm. And uh, to these, it's also very important, they stack with waves, so the higher uh, the wave is, currently it's wave 1, the more mana you get. So, let's, I'll merge out those, let's check out how much mana I get here. I will get... 75 mana. Next wave, I will already get 150 mana. So the boss wave, 75, as you saw here. Wait, gotta stop this guy. Oh no, no. Oh shit, that was a waste. Alright. Now it's second wave, <clears throat> if I merge out those, now I'll get more mana. Uh, just watch that again. There we go. It's not 75 anymore, now it's 165 even, so it gets double. And this will be the case up to wave 5, you will get more and more mana whenever you merge out those, so keep that in mind. Uh, not always just go straight uh, in wave 1 already with this shit. Oh, damn. Jesus Christ, well, before I <laughs> continue to uh, explain here, I should probably also play a little. Alright, well, uh, yeah, didn't expect that um, to be that easy, but <laughs> yeah, that's uh, what you should do. Also, whenever you put the drive inside of uh, this guy here, you get a golem that immediately stops the wave and does a ton of damage to the wave so you can actually burst by merging those out or put dryads inside of these guys and that's how you win this matchup. Monk left side so far. Ooh, very close to Perusa though. Yeah, for this matchup, let me see what we got here. Ah, uh, for circle mode. Yeah, exactly, okay. Whenever one of those appears, it will get red horns, it will do a ton of damage, AoE damage, and push back the wave. Uh, how long does it last? 12, 15 seconds? 20 seconds actually, very long. 
The horns disappear, you don't do any damage at all, basically. Very similar to the priest attack. So, uh, whenever this disappear, you reactivate it. There we go. And it pushes back the wave again. Another little pro tip that I'll, I'll give you is um, I'll do the same now again. Oops, just copy that guy. Now the wave pushes for um, pushes back, and we have this one. If I press this, the whole wave dies at wave one. So it's a yeah, it's a very powerful wave clear tool in the first wave. So. As soon as I kill a, a monster, it will go to the opposite side. So, if I don't kill the monster, he will not get the mono uh, from the monsters. And if I kill it in the very last second with this click, I get all of these, while these won't go to his side, because they uh, yeah, just go over slowly. That means all of these creeps that I just killed now and got a ton of mono from it, I denied him these little creeps. So I got way more mono than he does right now. And yeah, that's how you slowly but steady get a little advantage. And it's really little tricks like this that will um, give you the edge over other players that just um, don't know shit like that. So um, yeah, that's how it is. No, I'm saying. Also, never ever merge out the last one of these, because you do want um, to copy those. It's the most valuable thing to actually get your board higher. So always make sure you have two of those, um, so you can pop it once you will get another Harlequin. Because a uh, Harlequin is basically a summoner as well. So yeah, always keep a tier one that's just pretty important and well pretty important yeah yeah it is pretty important and you can also do this if you have like if you're stuck with too many of those guys put one in here do this and uh, yeah shit like that i'm saying oh oops uh, what am i doing oh my god yeah don't do this that was very very stupid uh, I didn't upgrade anything yet, so it's not the end of the world. We have time. Can actually merge out a little bit of this stuff. Um, mm, oh, it's still gonna be close. Alright, let's level this one up. When was the last time when a legendary unit was released or get talent was wasn't broken at the release? I can't really remember. Oh, I can't remember either. No idea, man. That's a very good question. <laughs> no idea when this was the last time. That's kind of the, the name of the game, I think. Yeah, that's how they do money. So they release something, everybody needs to buy it, otherwise they don't gonna win games anymore. And yeah, you know how it is. Yeah, he has a very big board already. Now I should focus less on the value of the board and more on uh, pushing the wave back, otherwise I'll get in trouble. Because now if... Um, Puppeteer hits me, it's gonna be much more expensive since I leveled up the stuff. So I'll actually do this, this, and this, and right after the boss appear, I'll do this. So I will kill him before he downgrades me. That's pretty close though. Yeah, he's playing very smart as well, actually. So it's gonna be a hard duel, I might even lose here. Because I did do a big mistake earlier. It's 
So at this point, uh, it's not enough anymore to push back the wave, so I do have to uh, merge those out a little bit. Every now and then. There we go. Sparing is caring, right? Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's playing very good. Very, very good. It's going to be tough. Yeah, he's playing super good, man. Nice respect. That's gonna be a tough one. Uh, what's this guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's also a pay to win guy, so um, I think I even remember the name. So he must be some kind of whale, I highly suppose. Ooh, at least an exciting match for once. That's really cool. Well played. The Unstoppables. Alright. Yeah. 7.7k trophy, so definitely somebody to look out for. Also played it very well. Please put your thoughts about this video in the comments. Like and subscribe, or the next Warlock will hit your highest damage dealer unit. Just saying, I don't make the rules. Check out the Rosh Oil Market for the best price in the game and use the code Godlike Mike, because remember, spend smarter, not harder. Also, if you like the content, here is a lot more of it. Thank you very much and see you next time.